Doop, 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 doop. Oh, it is fancy, Christine, that you're tuned now. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl, the Fancy Christine, but you know what? You can call me fancy. So today we are going to do like an everyday look makeup tutorial using, drum roll please, my new brushes from Morphe. I'm excited. I've never owned a Morphe brush. I've never used a Morphe brush, but a lot of my favorite um, YouTubers do use them and they're really not that expensive. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get me some. Okay, now we're all moisturized, we're primed. So now we are going to get to the brushes. I think today I'm just, I'm gonna use um, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the lightest shade they have, which is 110 Porcelain. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. So this is the Morphe M462. This is what this brush looks like. So we're going to try. It actually does seem to be blending pretty well. The finish that it's giving off, it looks really good. Okay, I see you. Always go down here. We don't need that line. Okay, guys, I feel blended and I feel I like th what the look that this is giving off. It does. It looks good. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. It looks good. Um, the next thing we're going to do is concealer. I like Tarte Shape Tape. It's good stuff. So I do like dots all under and over here because we need to, girl, we need to get that covered up. And I do a little bit on my eyelid instead of using like an eye primer. And then I do the, the standard like a little bit up here down the middle of the nose, hopefully, and then some on the chin. So this is, this is what I use. Sorry, it's not super clean, but it's just a little, little tiny egg sponge. So we are going to blend it out now. Okay, so now we've blended out our concealer. Um, now we're gonna move to powder. This is the e, oh, E52. Um, oh yeah, it's so soft. Okay, so what I like to do with this, I've got my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. And so let's test this out. Gotta just zip it in here and we'll tap, tap, tap. And then we're gonna go, oh yeah, yeah. So I like the way it feels already, girl. It's very soft. Get it in there. And I use, I use a lot of powder guys. Like I don't play around with powder because I think it helps to set the makeup. Um, it helps cause I'm kind of oily. So I, it helps to control the oil, but then I will do something later on to help combat how powdery I look. And we're going to go here and then get that nose girl. Cause we all know that's where we get oily. Get that nose. Don't be afraid. It ain't gonna get you back. You will always see me doing this on my neck cause girl, I'm not about, like I've already said, that line. We do not want a line. You always blend down. Okay, so now that our brows are carved out and ready to go, it's time for the eyes. This is for blending. We're gonna blend our crease with this. Um, it is the M433 brush. What I usually do if I want some type of like a transition shade, um, I usually use this contour kit that I got from Ulta. Blow it off, get that excess off. That's what we're gonna do. It doesn't really have much color. You can see like a little bit of color on there but it's really just to help the eyeshadow colors that we will use blend out. And this is a nice brush, shocking. So we are pretty transitioned. So what I'll do is I'll do one eye and then I will do the other eye off camera because they're not gonna be the same thing. You just do them to both eyes. 
So I like to use, this is my like holy grail product. This is the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette. I love it so much. Let's do the blue-green combo today. Um, so I'm gonna take the same brush I just used to transition with, and we're gonna go into this like royal blue looking color. And with these palettes, you do not need a lot. You tap, blow off, and then we are going to go, girl, we are going to go. Okay, so the secret to a good eyeshadow is blend, 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 blend. When you think you're done blending, blend some more. Blend, 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 we are blending. You know what, I think I'm done blending, so I'm gonna blend some more. Oh. So we're gonna go into this dark blue here, and we're gonna go into the crease using that same brush. Gonna blend, blend, oh, that's pretty. We're gonna blend, 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 blend. Just staying in the side, in the crease area. I mean, literally, just you're gonna just keep going, just keep going. So stay in the crease, though, when you go down here. Don't go up too high. It's just to get the look to be cohesive. So we're gonna keep blending. I think I might be done blending, so I'm gonna blend some more. Okay. Looking good. This brush here, this is to pack on some color. Yes. Um, this is the Morphe E10 brush. With this brush, I am gonna use the light blue right here in this corner. We're going to just take some on the brush and we're going to pack it on our lid. So I literally just like tap it on. Man, these are all nice brushes. I'm glad I bought this kit. Okay, get in there. Just keep packing it on, keep packing it on, okay. Go back in with the same um, blending brush that we've been using, and we're gonna blend that in some more. Cause we want it to look good. Get it more in that crease here. Cause there's still a little bit of color on there, so it can just help to blend it out a little bit more evenly. So, now what we'll do is we will use the green. So we're gonna dip that in. And we're gonna put this in the center of our lid. So. See that green popping is popping. So we've bl we're packing this right over the top of the, bl the light blue that we put down in the middle of the lid. And it gives a lovely, it's like a, mermaidy effect which who doesn't want to look like a mermaid let's be honest I think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna blend some more I'm digging it I'm digging this guys I'm gonna try this I'm gonna try to use that same brush and I want the green on the under under my eye I always do something under my eye because if not I feel like it doesn't look complete we're gonna go under. Oh, I think that's a good brush to do that with. Get in there. Okay, so now we're gonna use some mascara. Um, this is my all-time favorite mascara. I love it. I've used like high-end brands and they're just not as good. I don't know. It's the Clump Crusher Mascara from CoverGirl. So we are going to go for it. And I, I'm telling I just paint it on, girl. Paint it on. It just makes your eyes look bigger. If you can get these more spread out and darker, look at that. Oh my goodness. And then I do the bottom. Um, so this is my eye look. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera. Okay guys, the other eye is done. I even was like, girl, this is starting to look crazy. Like before the other eye got done, but now, I'm living for it. So I now like to do contour. I just use like a, this is what I use. I use the Ulta Beauty bronzer, but this is the brush that I got in my kit to use with it. Oh, so soft. Um, it is the Morphe R7. So we're gonna go for it. It's kind of, it's a bigger contour brush than I'm used to using. So I'm gonna see how this works. So I'm gonna dip it in there like I normally do blow off the excess because you know 
and then we're gonna go for it. I like to go here where it's already naturally kind of sunken in because then I just help to make it look deeper so that my face looks a little thinner because I got a round face, girl. Okay. Okay. I ain't mad. I see you. And I like to go up here with it. Chisel out my entire face, girl. I'll try to turn my face so y'all can see what's happening. And so I can watch in the mirror. Win win. Or I just use whatever's left on here and go under because I don't have, like, I have sh really short hair as you can see. So I don't need it to look like I've got like a beard under there. But I blend mostly right here so I can help cover up that double chin action I got going on down there. Okay. The next step is blush. So this is the blush brush. It's so fancy. It's gold. I'm loving it. It, ooh, girl, the hair. Um, it is the Morphe Y3. And I like to use the Milani Baked Blush in Dolce Pink. And then we're gonna put it on. Okay. Let's see you. I like to see the color, you guys. Like, I want to know it's there. I want to know what's happening. And I put it everywhere, as you can see. Smile, girl. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. So next is one of my favorite steps. It's just so fun. We are going to highlight. But it's the Morphe M510. And um, the highlight that I like to use, this is the most blinding highlight I own. Look at, look at it in the, uh, uh, uh. Um, it is the Flex, it is a uh, ColourPop, their Super Shock Cheek. Dab the brush in because if you swipe it, I think it's gonna take too much off. So we're gonna dab, dab, dab. And that doesn't look like a lot, but I feel like it's gonna be a lot. So then we're gonna put it on and yes, queen, we are already blinding ourselves and others, which is what we want to do. I'm gonna keep working, keep blending, keep blinding. Keep blending, keep blinding. Okay, okay. So now, we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And look at, ugh. Oh, this side, this light likes me better. I also like to go right here. Just a little bit though. Don't like use as much as you did on your highlight, your normal highlight area. And then of course we gotta do the nose. The tip of the nose, the tip of the nose. Look at that. And then up over the cupid's though. Now we are highlighted for the ages, honey. Um, this is ColourPop's Midnight Snack is the shade. It's one of their matte lips. Um, it's like the best nude shade that I found. Like this is actually a good nude. Okay. Now earlier I told you I like to powder a lot and then I had a trick to help with that. This is the trick. It's girl said it. Okay, so I recently got the MAC Fix Plus, and so we're going to use that to set it and forget it. So shake it up and then hold it away. I am not shy with setting spray either because that is how, that is how you make yourself not look powdery. And I always dry it off. But this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you want to see next. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys have a good one. Thank you. Bye.